We're going to cover our last topic on the gas laws. Avogadro's principle tells us that if we have equal volumes of any gas under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, we will have equal number of moles of that gas or equal number of molecules. That would mean any gas under the same conditions. So if we had a room full of balloons, hydrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, and they all had the same volume under the same conditions, we would know that we would have the same number of molecules of those gases in each of the balloons. What this really leads us to is that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure, STP conditions, has a volume of 22.4 liters. Again, any gas under those specific conditions would have a volume of 22.4 liters. Nitrogen, oxygen, any gas. This is called the molar volume of a gas, and it is only true when you are at standard temperature and pressure conditions of 273 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere. But under those conditions, 1 mole has the molar volume of 22.4 liters. This allows us to solve gas law problems called gas stoichiometry. So we're going to look at a sample problem. How many grams of calcium carbonate are needed to produce 9 liters of carbon dioxide at STP? We write our equation and put the conditions down that we have starting with. We take our 9 liters of carbon dioxide, and since we are at standard temperature and pressure, use the molar volume 22.4 liters is equivalent to one mole of carbon dioxide. We then simply convert one mole of carbon dioxide to one mole of calcium carbonate using the mole ratio as we always do. And then we will use the molar mass of calcium carbonate to convert back to grams. So the only new conversion we have placed in this problem is the molar volume conversion that since we were at standard temperature and pressure conditions, one mole of CO2 has a volume of 22.4 liters. We could also work this problem starting with grams. So if we had 152 grams of calcium carbonate, we decomposed it and we wanted to know how many liters of carbon dioxide we would be producing at STP, we would follow the same pattern that we've always done with stoichiometry. We would start with our 152 grams of calcium carbonate, convert that to moles using the molar mass. Molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 grams per mole. The mole ratio between calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide is 1 to 1. And then since we are under standard temperature pressure conditions, one mole of carbon dioxide has a volume of 22.4 liters. This would give us the volume of carbon dioxide formed from the 152 grams of calcium carbonate at STP conditions. We can solve any gas law problem that has the conditions of standard temperature and pressure by using this method. So if we've got 1.75 liters of nitrogen gas, okay, and we want to know how many grams of nitrogen gas we have, we certainly could use the ideal gas law for this, there, it would work nicely by putting in the temperature conditions of standard temperature 273 Kelvin and standard pressure of 1 atmosphere. But we could also work it maybe a little faster by using the gas stoichiometry. Starting with the 1.75 liters, 
and the 22.4 liters in one mole, and finally, the molar mass of nitrogen, 28 grams per mole. This would give us 2.19 grams of nitrogen gas would be in the container of 1.75 liters at STP. Again, you easily could use the ideal gas law for this, but this is one more way to allow you to solve problems if you recognize that this only works under standard temperature and pressure conditions to use this 22.4 liters is equivalent to one mole.